Hi there, you're welcome to today's video. My name is Oluchi Iman. On this channel, I share cake business tips. I talk about personal development, I do story time, vlogs, tutorials as well, and you're welcome. In today's video, I'll be sharing or letting you have an insight into my cake business rebranding story. So I know I've done a video on cake branding on this channel before, but since then, I have grown and learned and come to understand that there is more to branding than meets the eye. Like I mentioned in the video, it still holds that branding is much more than the logo, is much more than a name, is much more than the physical things that we see with our eyes. When you talk about cake business branding, you're talking about things that have to do with not just the external, but also the internal, like your business entity, the business itself. What is your vision? What is your mission? What are your values? What's the the what are the systems what are the systems that govern your business your cake business it is much more than this when it comes to branding there are different things to talk about like brand perception brand identity a brand voice there are so many things that are attached to this all right so you need to know as a baker what is your vision and then what is your mission this vision that you have, how are you going to achieve it? And then what are your values as a business? Do you have values even to guide you, that guide and govern your business? What are the systems with which you run your business? So for me, I've come to that point in my business life where I felt this discomfort. There's this discomfort that I usually talk to bakers about. I tell them, you should not be feeling comfortable in a place for too long. So for me, I have come to that point where I felt that my business name my business like the perception i had grown where i was actually i had come to that place where i was not comfortable anymore and so i needed a change i needed a fresh start i needed to to change some things i needed to learn i needed to impl implement some new things so it would happen that you get to that stage of business now we go on this branding journey or we decide to rebrand for different reasons and it is very very important is a vital part of your cake business so for me this is the reason why i just needed a fresh start i just needed to grow from where i was i needed to jump you know leap from where i was i'm thinking of how best to communicate this to you to understand and so what did i do um, I went seeking for knowledge, so I went for a branding class. Yeah, I went for a branding class and a structure class as well. Structure is a different thing entirely. You need to understand it and understand it well. So I went for a branding and structure class and I was able to achieve that thing that I wanted. I was able to, you know, get out from that stage of discomfort. I was able to give birth, uh, rebirth, give a rebirth to my brand at Big Cake Signatures. Now, if it's something you're interested in, I want to share with you some of the behind the scenes that I did or some of the behind the scenes into what I did when I was preparing majorly for my photo shoot. So I had a photo shoot session where I went to take pictures that I would use for my social media page and for all of that. And then um, just help me with the rebranding as, as I ought to, okay? And just help me launch with that new stage and phase of my business. So if this is something you're interested in watching, then you definitely want to stick around, watch this video and see what happened behind the scenes and then I'll be right back, all right? So guys, I'm here for a product photo shoot. I guess that's what they called it. They said it's a product photo shoot. So I wanted to take some pictures of my cake um, for a project that I have later this month. You'll get to know about it in a bit uh, shortly. But I'm taking some pictures. I have a photo shoot session today, so I'm at the studio already with my cakes in the background. Right there. Right there. Okay, so I've packed them. I'm just waiting for my turn so that I can go into, into, into the studio and then do all that I have to do. There's a lot of traffic coming here. It's not so easy at the moment. Everywhere is tense. The roads are blocked, but I'll be done at home in a bit by God's grace. So just stick around. And like I said, this video is for not just for entertainment, but for educational and inspirational purposes, just in case you intend to do something like this in future for your cake business or for your brand. So that's why I'm taking you along so that you learn a thing or two and be able to do it as well, okay? So I have this one. Uh -huh. This is more uh, brownies and those, and then I have this cake. I have some here, and then this sweet cream cake as well. Okay. I 
So it's time for me to change my outfit. So I'm going to be changing my outfit. I'm done with the photo session guys I'm done with the photo shoots that I went to take for my brand like I said it's a project that I have for this month so I'm done I hope that you learned a thing or two now it's more like a branding I've mentioned branding before right it's more like a branding project for my business so if you're looking at this doing this at some points in your business which I think you should do it's advisable you do there's some things you need to consider and I'll just drop them in the description box or in the comment section okay um, so that's that for that there's still a bit of there's still heavy traffic but I'm heading home at the moment and I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share with those in your community comments okay until I see you in the next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed yes so that was what went down that was the photo shoot session and you can see the results as well so when the when i chose my pictures and they sent it to me the editing was really really poor and it wasn't going to represent my brand at all it was really really poor and i had paid for it it was not a free service so i had to ask them to please re-edit to do it to do and to, to to basically work on it again so they did it was still poor i had to you know give them a feedback again i laid my complaints and the person was like okay the person was interacting they said okay it was going to give to a third editor so they gave to that person who i think did a better job than the first person did um during the past two attempts in the past two attempts so i was able to get that now you might not be ready for branding yet you might not be ready for a huge you know branding yet for your business but there are basic things that you need to know please you can watch my, my branding video if you need to um, get uh, knowledge basic knowledge about branding but there are things you need to know aside colors logos and all of that yes they're important but there are other deeper things that you need to know and this is on a large scale like branding take business branding take branding i beg your pardon is really really broad it's really really large and i'm looking to have classes on this really really soon for those who be interested yes it's a lot of it takes a lot of time like it took us months of planning months of talking months of reasoning months of thinking months of consulting months of <laughs> paying and it's capital intensive yes it's capital intensive of course so you need money so if you're not ready for that there are things that you can begin to do bit by bit that would help you to give a kind of facelift to your brand so a photo shoot is one of them just like i showed you it might not be on a big scale but you can just make some little cake items make some little trades do some things that you do package some things together and go take pro shoots how many of you have headshots so you should have a headshot okay have headshots that you can use for flyers have headshots that you can use for your social media um, have headshots headshots or headshots that you can use for your social media 
pages, announcements, and things that you want to put out there. And even if you're invited to for proof for you know for speaking engagements and some things that have to do with the media, you will need a headshot. So consider taking a headshot. You can do just a personal um, head um, photo shoot, like just a pro shoot, like your headshot, or you might want to do a product shoot. Like when I went to the photo studio, I was told that what I wanted to do was photo was the product shoot. I didn't know it was a product shoot. I just went there. I want to take a picture of myself and my kids and this is that I came with. And they said it's a product shoot. This and this and this is the amount. This is the package we have and all of that. So consider doing either a personal shoot, get a headshot, you know, look good, look fresh, look, look nice and clean, and then get that headshot. Maybe with your chef coat or just um, just you nicely dressed, you know, dressed presentably and nicely. Or you do a product photo shoot where you have your cake or you have your brownies or you have your cupcakes whatever it is it doesn't have to be large but consider this and i tell you it will pay off in the long run so this is my story and a little behind the scene into my cake business rebranding the rebranding of ib cake signatures the rebirth of ib cake signatures and some of the things that i did including the video recording to help me relaunch and i hope that it has helped share some insights Please, if you have any questions to ask and ask in the comments and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel like this video like this video give it the thumbs up so like to get to as many that need to see it as well okay until i see you in the next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed